Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now once the secondary treatment is over, as I said, the water which comes out after the secondary treatment is considerably clean. However, the final round of treatment is given by the tertiary treatment and this is the final cleaning process of water. So once this is done, water can be reused. So this water, in, in fact, in many uh, sewage treatment plants, what happens is after the, second, after the secondary treatment is done, then only the, the water is directly disposed of into the rivers or oceans. But in some plants, the tertiary treatment is also done. It is always advisable to do the tertiary treatment. So it is the final cleaning process and here the remaining inorganic compounds and parasites that is disease causing microorganisms which might have been present here like bacteria or viruses, they are all removed in this step. Because if these parasites remain there, they can cause diseases in human beings. And that is why we always advise everyone to drink clean water. So one way of doing tertiary treatment is chlorination or chlorine water treatment. So here chlorine is added to water in the form of like uh, drop drops. So when chlorine and chlorine is extremely toxic. So very small amount of chlorine needs to be added to the water and that chlorine being toxic is capable of uh, killing all the microorganisms. It can kill all the parasites that might have been present in the water. However, care should be taken that excess of chlorine should not be added because if because as I said, a chlorine is poisonous. So it can be harmful to the water quality. If you are adding too much of chlorine, then the water itself becomes poisonous and then you dispose the same water into a river or an ocean and then that water might harm the aquatic life. Therefore, chlorine needs to be added only in very small quantities and uh, that needs to be managed very carefully. But yes, since chlorine is toxic, it is also capable of killing the disease causing microorganisms. So this is one way of, so chlorination is one way of secondary, uh, of tertiary treatment. Another way is alum water treatment. So what is alum? So alum is again a chemical substance which which is capable, in fact, uh, chemically it is hydrated potassium aluminium sulfate. So hydrated potassium aluminium sulfate. So this is alum. And how alum can clean water? Alum has the ability to remove the phosphorus particles. So let's say this is silty water. This is muddy water. So you take some muddy water, you put some pieces of alum in it, either in pieces or in liquid form, you put alum inside it. Leave it for some time. You mix it properly and then leave it for some time. And what you'll observe is that small phosphorus particles, very tiny phosphorus particles, they all start for making groups. And you, you will be able to see lumps of those kind of phosphorus particles. So they all start coming together for, and then they can be easily removed with the help of filters. So you see here, the, all the muddy particles, they have like, they, they, it was not really mud, but it also contained a lot of uh, inorganic compounds like phosphorus and they all come together they form lump like structures and then you can very easily remove them by filtration. So that's how alum can be used for tertiary treatment of water and this is called alum water treatment. Now not only chlorine, chlorine and alum there are a couple of other chemicals which can also be used for final cleaning process of water one such example is ozone. Another example is bleaching powder. So all these are also chemicals which have the ability to clean or to get the water rid of microorganisms or inorganic compounds. So now we have reached towards the end of sewage treatment plant or wastewater treatment plant. And what do we see? We could successfully convert the wastewater into clean water. So we started off with wastewater which contained so much of impurities, which contained organic impurities, which contained inorganic impurities, which contained parasites, so everything was there. But by the end of the entire process, preliminary treatment, primary, uh, secondary, tertiary, so now we have clean water. It, it doesn't have organic impurities, it doesn't have any other type of impurity. And now when you dispose of this clean 
clean water into the river so obviously we are safe because we are and the best thing is that we are not wasting that water we are not wasting the waste water we are utilizing even the waste water and that that's the most beautiful thing so that's how we saw that how uh, sewage treatment plants work or how waste water treatment plants work thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again